most definitely of the years. Alright, that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. It's mid-September, so I'm thinking it's a little bit colder in the evenings. Why not build a debris cabin? Let's get to it. Alright, so like I said, it's mid-September. It's getting a little bit colder in the mornings, like around 50-ish, but it's still about 75 or 80 during the day, and the humidity is still here. But with that mindset of it becoming winter, I want to focus on some longer term survival shelters that are easy to construct with your backpack items like you have your cordage and a tarp. Today we want to go ahead and make a debris hut, but it's actually a debris tent or a debris cabin. And that's exactly what it is. We're going to walk through here, we're going to find debris, cut logs, cut tree limbs, cut off trunks of trees, and stack walls and put a tarp A-frame style over top of that bad boy. That way it will kind of keep the heat inside. So, let's get to it. Ugh. Once again, it's not the years, it's the mileage. Ugh. No, it's definitely the years. Definitely. So adding those four posts like I just did and securing them together with an arbor knot is going to bring them together and squeeze those logs together. And you're creating basically a windscreen. Think of a windscreen for a fire. You're blocking the wind. Why not take that same idea and make it longer and then create the walls for a shelter? Same idea, different application. Kind of wedge these logs together. It's very difficult to move. We're in the ground here a good foot and we created the beginnings of our wall.
this should work out pretty well. It's about seven foot long and we're looking about five foot across. I get a pole here, pole here, and then a horizontal, and then drape our tarp over it. But yeah, so just reimagine the same thing into a larger scale. A campfire windscreen to block the wind. Now we have walls. So it'll work. Hopefully. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Now, if there's any rain, it'd be up there at the peak, roll right off over top of this bar and not run down our walls. So a good stick over about two inches should be good enough. And we're going to use our Marline spike hitch from last week's video. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. I show the three top knots that I use, and then we'll stick it down here. And like a car tire, just bounce back and forth all the way down. Something's living down there. Okay, so I used an 8x10 tarp, just a crappy, you know, light duty 8x10. And you can see back here, it's not completely enclosed. Had I dropped it down one more log, it would actually touch the ground and block off the back over here. But I chose to go higher so I could sit up and not hit my head on the roof. So it's a give and a take, um, but an 8x12, meaning 12 foot length, would actually close to the bottom. So, um, is what it is.
As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Looks like barf, but it tastes like lasagna. So I'm sold on these, man. Tell you what. Hmm. Cause you want a few. Hell yeah. So the rocket stove's badass. Now someone's gonna say this, so I'll go ahead and address it. Why build a rocket stove when you got a fire right there? Well, I've already addressed it. It's very hot still. It's humid. Um, it's still humid right now. And I don't want to lay next to a fire, so I figured I'd come in here where it's cool, and I can lay next to that. Also, what if it were to rain or snow or there was heavy winds? I could take that, stick it right here. All the smoke can vent. We're underneath our tarp, and I can still get light from it. I can cook my food, etc. So it's a good investment. That small auger bit actually pays off. Um, once again, on my Self-Reliance Outfitters affiliate page. So with that, we'll talk in the morning. So... Good night. Man, you want to cool down a little bit. But not a lot. And sleeping on the ground always sucks. I don't care who you are. Ugh. At least in this shelter, I can sit up and put boots on.
So here's a new coffee press from Stuff Alliance Outfitters. I heat that water up, dump my coffee grounds inside, use my plunger, and we'll be in business. our Spam Breakfast Burrito, which is like half-eaten by the way because it's outstanding AF. And that finishes off, catch you all in a few. Mm. Okay, let's talk about this shelter. We have something that was simply whipped up with the items from our backpack. We have our bank line with our bowling through our eyelet hole right here, our grommet, creating our tie out with a marline spike hitch for our stake, and arbor knots to create windscreen walls. The same thing you use for a campfire to block the wind, not a reflector, a windscreen. I did a larger version on both my walls, <clears throat> and if you think about it, I could have done one in the back as well. Um, 8x10 tarp and 8x12 would have worked best. We have our overhang right here to repel the water, and it worked out great. So. Another one for the books. And there you go. A solo overnight building a debris cabin in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found on two places. One of my Amazon influencer page and two my self-reliance outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm going to catch you next time. Now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. A friend of mine contacted me last week and asked me how I was doing. I was getting ready to go work out, and I said to him, hey man, just try and get motivated. He looked at me and said, F motivation, stick to the plan. I thought about that. Where I come from in the military, you make a plan, then you work that plan or implement that plan. If you have to get motivated to do something, that means there's a voice in your head, meaning yours or someone else. And it's trying to talk you out of what you should be doing or what you want to be doing or what you need to be doing. So starting today, take charge, make a plan, work that plan, F motivation, and everything else will fall into place. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.